In August 2023, it was 628 Naira to 1 Canadian dollar. In October 2023, it was 900 Naira. And in January, as I'm speaking, it is 1,150 Naira. That's half of the value of the Naira gone in less than six months. Which way, Nigeria? Hello everyone, my name is Dear Kola. I have lived in Canada for over 20 years. And on this channel, I share content about growing older and wiser as an immigrant. Welcome back to this side of life. And if you're new here, welcome and thank you all for joining me today. As you may know, I am originally from Nigeria. And yes, Nigeria is a great country of good people, immense natural resources, beauty, culture, and even high tech. Nigeria is like the high tech leader in Africa. But yet, there's a big elephant in the room that needs to be addressed. Have you seen the exchange rate of the Naira in recent times against major currencies of the world? It is like in a free fall and I feel so sad about it. The current rate of the Canadian dollar to the Naira is 1,150 Naira to one Canadian dollar. And you might say, oh, that is the black market. But I took a look at even the Central Bank of Nigeria's website, and this is what they have. Even though they don't have Canadian dollar, look at the rate of the US dollar and the pound. We all know that many things are imported in Nigeria. And with this rate, it means at least a doubling of prices of things that are available for purchase in Nigeria. And if you live abroad and you have investments in, for example, the stock market in Nigeria, those investments are really not worth much anymore. Because imagine you invested when the Naira was like 200 to $1 Canadian. And now it is like, I don't even know, five times more than that. What would be the value of those investments now? How do people survive? On top of that, there are no jobs. Those unemployed and underemployed were up to 33% of the population in 2020, according to uh, a World Bank article that I found online. The public education and public health system are in shambles. You cannot send your child to a public school in Nigeria. You know, healthcare system is so expensive. Even the politicians are going abroad. Like they are going to other countries to seek health care. Basic necessities like food, shelter, you know, good roads, power, water. They are so difficult to find. I say it, uh, in, uh, that in Nigeria, you are your own water corporation. You are your own electric company. You kind of create your own, your own ecosystem in your house because the government services are not there. And... What about the kidnapping? Recently, the rate of kidnappings have gone up and people are afraid. You don't even feel safe in your own home. People feel hopeless and helpless. No wonder people are living in droves, especially the young people. They don't see a future. They don't see any hope. They don't see things changing. And they feel like the only option they have is to leave. And they are living to any place, like to uh, North America, to Europe, anywhere, even to other African countries. It is really, really very sad. Hmm. What about the leaders? What about the leaders of Nigeria? They don't care. They are so selfish. They only think about themselves and their family. So long as they are okay, then everything is fine. Which way, Nigeria? Where is the solution? When is the solution? When will it end? When will the Naira stop falling like a stone? What can we do? I am just a small YouTuber here in my little corner and just using my platform to get this message out. And if somehow some of those leaders get to see this video, I am begging them. I am asking them to please 
Think about other people. Think about the people of Nigeria for once. Have compassion. Think about others for once. You have been put in the position of authority to make a difference. You have the opportunity to talk amongst yourself and come up with solutions to these problems that we have in Nigeria. You have the ability to do something. You have the ability to do what benefits the people. Leave a good legacy for yourself and be remembered for good. Do something positive for the Nigerian people. Have compassion on those who are suffering, the mass of people who are suffering, who cannot, who do not have uh, their daily meal, who do not have anything to eat for a day. People, children who can only eat, afford to eat once a day. People who are suffering, who don't have a place to live, who are living in squalor, who don't even have the basic necessities of life. Think about these people and stop being selfish. Stop thinking about yourself alone. And let us stem the decline of this great country of Nigeria. May God have mercy on Nigeria. That's the quick thought I had for today. Please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts too about this whole situation of Nigeria and what you think is the solution to this decline in the country. How can we get ourselves out of this mess that we are in? I really want to know what you think in the comment section down below. Today has been a very sad one for me, but stay tuned to this channel for more interesting topics coming your way. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload new videos. Until I come your way again, until the next video, you go out and make it the best days of your life. Bye.